Many, many. Oh, no, not many. You still have <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'll just explain this. We'll get to the COPD a little bit later. But the reason we sort of got into COPD is because what we first read was that they were sort of a little bit similar. So yeah. COPD is and a lot also, more serious. Joseph. And also, um, uh, when you have asthma, you can't um, get rid of it. You can only treat it. It's not like something that you can't get rid of. You can only make it... <coughs> feel better or yeah okay our third question is how can asthma affect you when you exercise now normally what I had been told before is that people with asthma shouldn't be exercising because that can well get them out of breath and that can, it's not very the best thing. and it'll make them wheeze and cough yeah. and it'll just but what push. I actually learned during this is that it, you actually should be exercising it strengthens the Ter 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 trachea. Trachea, thank Which you. is also called your windpipe. Never remember. Right here is your windpipe. And it's kind of yeah, right here. It's the scientific word for windpipe. It strengthens that so that it swells less. And that could be sort of what you can call a cure for asthma. Mm -hmm. Is exercise. Simple exercise. It also strengthens the bronchioles. Yep. Um... And the fourth question is, how can you treat asthma? Which um, is kind of what I was explaining earlier, is by using a um, inhaler. So that's, um, and then the medicine will kind of open up. And yeah. Our fifth question is, what does the medicine and the inhaler do to neutralize the asthma? Well, Chris sort of already explained that. Yeah, These are it, some videos that will it will a bit out. widen open up and um, yeah. yeah, it will help you breathe. Yeah, so basically what it does is it sort of relax the tension inside the trachea so that it sort of stops the swelling and it goes away. Now another thing that's interesting about asthma is while you have asthma, you can also, one of the reasons why you cough is because there's also mucus that gets inside. Which makes, so it swells, and then there's a layer of mucus that grows. So that, so that leaves just a tiny little hole for air to go through. To go in and out. And, um, in the, the medicine in the inhaler, um, is one of them at least, or the most common that is used, is called a bronch, bronch, <coughs> um, Bronchodilator, broncholator, um, which is like what we explained in your bronchioles, pretty so much. So now we're sort of going to go back to the bronchioles. So, so um, go back. Okay. So, okay. what are your bronchioles? Well, your bronchioles have um, blood streams. Well, your bronchi have blood streams that are bron bronchioles that um will branch off and um it'll kind of branch off into different kind of um areas in your lungs and at the end of these there's going to be that we'll be explaining in a little bit that have something at the end of them that actually helps it like like um what marco is explaining how it like kind of exchanges um the carbon for oxygen so you can breathe out. So it's oxygenating it. Yeah, so it's oxygenating it. And uh yeah, that's pretty much what your bronchioles are. Okay. Now we're sort of getting a little bit into C O P D. The chronic I cannot remember what the chronic o is. lung disease. The chronic pulmonary disease. I'm just gonna call it C P D. Um believe it or not, in America it's actually the fourth leading cause of death. And that's pretty much meaning what it's like. It restricts air flow through the lungs, which pretty much that's what we got when it was similar to asthma. Mm -hmm. Not sure how we got that because it's more serious. And the leading cause of COPD is actually smoking and pollutants such as dust. So if there's, well, we well, didn't, didn't really get much... We didn't really get much into this because our main focus was asthma at first. But and then we sort of got into COPD. But um, 
we know that there are chemical pollutants that are sort of in the shape of dust that you can inhale, which can so cause the disease. And um, when you smoke or pollutants happen, um, and it kind of infects your lungs. And this is kind of what it looks like. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. That's one of the lungs that was cut. Yeah. Because actually one of the cures for COPD is so there's well, lobes. It's in not it. a cure, but it's like well, um, it's, a way that you it's can sort help of way treat that it. It helps treat it. Um, so there's lobes. There's the superior, the interior lobe, I believe, is down here. Yeah. The superior lobe is up here. And then there's the middle lobe, which is around yeah. here. And that's in the right. The left one only has the interior and the superior. Yeah, I got that right. Um, but what they do is they cut off the top one. And so that picture that you just saw was a COPD infected lung, which they cut off and was on the table, which was taking a picture. So they cut yeah. off a part of the lungs. Though. Yeah. yeah. It, um, it'll, we have a, a, um, two videos that'll show where it's cut off. Um, because there's some parts in the lungs that aren't like, um, they help but they're not always needed for you to help breathe because there's there may be other parts um already um just like that kind of part in the lungs because if there's a um, sort of natural place where you can pause and continue mm -hmm. tomorrow i just let me know that so we're looking okay. at the clock and that would be a uh, good idea it to stop a little bit early actually we're time. almost done we can probably okay. just show the videos tomorrow okay sounds good let's do that um yeah. so after we got in cop and asthma COPD and asthma, we realize they have something in common. They both affect the lungs. And they both actually swell the lungs. Well, the bronchioles and the Yeah, well, they swell the bronchi, like which are the inside. bronchioles and your bronchi. And things so like we that. got a little bit into that, and that's how I figured out about the lobes in the lungs. There are three on the right side and um, some on the left side. And fun fact about the lungs, some people think, most people actually, I was one of those people, thought that the lungs were big, huge muscles themselves. Turns out that there's a muscle down here called the diaphragm. It's not too terribly big, but these are like balloons, and it pushes in, that's exhaling, and pushes out, which is inhaling. Actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll see how Bill Nye, and make, Bill Nye explains it really well. It's mm -hmm. a good thing that tomorrow's trying to fit it in. Yeah. And so then I sort of got in, I sort of personally got into how the lungs protect themselves. One of the ways is a cough, that's why, because they're getting the mucus out that they don't need. That's one way. Second way, rib cage. Feel right here. The lungs are yeah. inside. Because there a, are some thin a, muscles in between. And then um, the third way is actually a thin layer of mucus called the sputum and the flagellum. Now what that mucus does is when you breathe in, down your throat there are little hairs that catch dust. But if, and in your nose, that's why there's no hair. Um, when you breathe in, there's hairs that catch all the dust. But if anything gets past that in the it airway, there's little, there's a thin layer of mucus called the sputum and the flagellum. Just I explained. Now that catches it so it doesn't pollute your lungs. Yeah. And so then. For any place you can pause now. Okay. And then there's um, one fun fact that we have to share. This is like kind of where we'll stop at the fun fact because this is like a good place to stop and then we'll kind of show the videos. Mm -hmm. Now the fun fact is $2.1 trillion, trillion dollars was put into helping people with COPD. Because and that's only in America. Yeah. And because like they need all the medicine, they need pretty much everything like from like all the samples and everything. And that's just how many people have COPD that probably have something like that they smoke too much or they um, they will like kind of um, take in this dust that just kind of 